YouTube. Oh, shit. You damn, you damn right it's YouTube time. Oh, and I'm cussing in my videos. I don't care no more. All right, we're gonna limit that. You know, it's the limitations on my curse words and stuff. All right, so what you see right here is a catalytic converter came off of a two. I think it was a 2003. Uh, that, that, that gay behind uh, Monte Carlo they came out with. The one before they made the 5.3 in. Yeah, the, the gay 3.8 engine. Uh, this was, a uh, car, car came in, they couldn't drive over uh, 25 miles per hour or 2,500 RPMs or something like that. Pretty much you put a load on it, you can't go nowhere. So we all know that's a classic, classic symptom uh, most of the time. Most of the time, maybe in your cases, maybe something different, but for me, most of the time, and my experience was always a clog, clog, can't even say the word, a clog catalytic converter. So what I'm gonna do is uh, pretty much, uh, I'm gonna open this shit up and uh, we gonna see what the fuck is in it. And uh, I want y'all to see what the fuck a, a clog cat look like and shit. So let's begin doing some goddamn cutting and shit, all right? Just make sure y'all ain't got no greasy ass Jerry Curl like Michael Jackson did. Remember in the Pepsi commercial, I know I, was, I wasn't born yet, but I remember this shit caught on fire. Let's not have that happen, all right? Make sure you got glasses and some goddamn headwear and shit. And make sure your grease ain't dripping. I was able to get this uh, excuse my mess um, I'm in the middle of an engine job I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see you see that over there and that's the car right there it's a 06 Ford 500 I think yeah 4 500 whatever that shit but uh, engine and transmission is over there I just got to swap uh, you know one over or whatever and we'll worry about that tomorrow but let's worry about this shit alright so this is the catalytic converter I had cut and um, as expected, as I, you know, as a diagnose, I mean, I already knew it was clogged because when I put the new one on the car, I did a burnout and uh, went up the road. Well, the owner went up the road. I didn't. And uh, I did a burnout in the parking lot. When I confirmed that that motherfucker went over fucking 4,000 RPMs, um, the tires were bald. So don't even worry about it, guys. But uh, the owner, he went up the street a few times. It was good. Now, um, I looked inside of it. As you can see, I don't know if you can see. Let me show you guys. You see all of that, uh, yup, mm-hmm, all that built up shit. Now, this is coming from the engine, this side right here. If I flip it around, and you can see the honeycomb inside of there, uh, it's not clogged up as much, uh, a little bit. Now, nah, you really can't see, but I kind of can see, but it's not really clogged at all like that. Just a little bit, a tad bit. But this is really fucking clogged. You want to know how the catalytic converter get clogged up? Well, it could come from a good number of things. For one, uh, engine misfires can cause a catalytic converter to get clogged, uh, un unburnt fuel. Um, you got uh, internal engine failure. I mean, I can't even say it, internal engine failure. Uh, other in internal parts that, uh, you know, go bad and whatever comes out of the exhaust ends up in here and then it just ends up building up in here so it's no need to get specific on how it got clogged just say it's a, a shitty ass engine and just its output everything exiting comes through here and gets fucking stuck and that's how you get a clogged catalytic converter but an engine with a, a bad misfire can make a catalytic converter fail fast so it's no need to get into the science of it I just wanted to show you guys how a catalytic converter gets clogged if you want you can go on Google Look it up, get more uh, of an idea, more pictures and stuff. I mean, I could cut this open, but it's no point because, I mean, we can see it's clogged up right here, but it's not really clogged up exiting right there. So, like I said, it came off of a Chevy Monte Carlo 3.8 engine. Uh, the engine, I mean, it did run good, but maybe at some time throughout its life, it had some problems uh, with the engine. And this is what happens when you don't take care of your engine or get shit fixed when you're supposed to or overall when you have a crappy ass engine 
So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. And um, real short, I hope I make this video at least like five minutes. Probably going to be ten minutes, knowing me when I talk. But uh, that's that. So, you guys, got any questions or whatever? Um, this is video more so for people like uh, JL, one of my subscribers, or anybody else that's in tech school and you want to know what a catalytic converter and what symptoms symptoms I had car wouldn't go over a certain RPM and it wouldn't accelerate uh, over 25 miles per hour um, it, yeah you you just won't be it won't go anywhere so you probably get other codes associated uh, with you know a failed catalytic converter in this case I had no other codes I had evap codes in the system but it didn't let me nothing let me know that this catalytic converter uh, failed another easy way if you're in your driveway or whatever you want to do a quick uh, test on you know if your cat is clogged or not just to we talk louder just to do process of elimination remove your catalytic converter from the engine and go on the test drive if the car performs good after taking it off then you know that it was the catalytic converter if not then you know it's something else so yeah that's that this is what your clogged catalytic converter looks like and um, I hope you guys learn from this and uh, yeah, after watching this video, you know once you get uh, symptoms like this as I uh, described, then you know what to do. It's one shot kill. So I'm Leak Auto Repair. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Also, I will be doing part three on, uh, let me rotate the tripod. I will be doing uh, part three. Uh, I gotta figure out what the topic is. I'm probably gonna cover uh, you know, being organized and uh, timing, uh, just yeah, being timed and uh, being organized on, you know, doing uh, engine and transmissions from start to finish. So that way, you know, give the guys who want to get involved and in stuff like this, give them some good tips and stuff. Because, you know, Leak explains it best in a way that you can understand it. So, yeah, just look out for this video. I'll probably shoot tomorrow once I get everything swapped over. Because this is going to be a pain in the ass job. This is one of two engines I got this week. And then uh, I got another transmission job on a uh, G36 yeah, Pontiac. No, I break the Pontiac. I don't know how I mix the two up. That's disrespectful. Infinity G37 in 2011. Uh, yeah, so um, look forward to uh, the video. So I'll see you guys. Make sure you smash that like button.